Remind myself that I'm not that important. If I'm not there, God can use another person. How your testimony this year is directly related to your relationship with the Holy Spirit. I didn't come to talk about earthquakes and all that. The Bible already tells you that. Mm -hmm. I didn't come to tell you that there will be war in 2019. The Bible has already told you that. But one thing we must keep praying about. One thing we must keep praying about. We must pray against racial riots. In the term of President Trump. I will use this opportunity to share my thoughts for 2019 on President Donald Trump. I'm not a man that shies from controversy. I will share my thoughts for you and I believe it's the mind of God. You are a Christian. Listen to me. Your job is not to criticize him. Your job is to pray for him. Amen. Yes. You must pray for him. Amen. That God will give him wisdom. Amen. Amen. Yeah. When I hear believers criticizing him, I shake my head. I say they don't have the seven spirits of God. They don't have understanding. I'm not here to endorse him either. Please understand something. He said, oh, he talks anyhow. He's one of the weakest presidents we've had. God said, and so? Don't you know I use the weak to confound the strong? They say, oh, the man is so foolish. God said, and so? Don't you know I use the foolish to confound the wise? We are the wise people today. They are confounded. Mm. They cannot believe that that man is in the White House. And I'm not saying he's foolish, but that's how God operates. Amen. He takes the things that are not to confound the things that are. Ah. Yes. When man wants to appoint a president, they will look for somebody that has a PhD. Mm. God will say, I need somebody with a GED. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need somebody with a GED. Why? Because he wants to use the things that are not to confound the things that are. Yeah. So that no flesh will glory in his presence. Yeah. 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 Amen. And God is doing his business and we are complaining. Yes. My God. Pray for the man. Yeah. You have no right to criticize somebody if you've not prayed for the person. Amen. You want your blessings in 2019? Stay away from that social media talk that says it's this and it's that. Just stay away from that. He doesn't have to favor me for me to pray for him. If you like, he says tomorrow all Nigerians go home. That doesn't mean I won't pray for him. I will just pack my bag and go. <laughs> no, Christians, we have to learn these things. He's not worse than Nebuchadnezzar. And meanwhile, God put Nebuchadnezzar there and gave him wealth and gave him all the kingdoms of the earth. God only gave him the United States. 